Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Peggle. So, let's see if we can't beat these challenges. <coughs> Here we are again. Space. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. It's always the space levels that really get me. Okay, I have an idea. If I shoot this just right, will it be like a slinky on a staircase? Stay, 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 stay. Yo! Oh. I saw a trick on online where at this level you can make it so like it keeps bouncing in the circle. But now the circle's all broken up, so now I can't really do that. I screwed up. As per usual. So, how are all of you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Hope it's cool. Well, now it's really cool because we got Maximum Zen. That did not feel like Maximum Zen. That felt like a 40. That felt like a 40%. And for most of the point challenges, I see people using um, Master Who here. So I'm going to try to trust the Zen Ball. Alright, so next turn, we will be enlightened. And we got the free ball. I'm going to be honest, I kind of wanted more points by now, but beggars can't be choosers. So, going to good old Burrito Horn. Alright, that was a pretty good turn. So, somebody came in the drive-thru, and they wanted three separate orders. Which, kind of a pain, but it is what it is, that's fine. So, at this time, we were out of Baja Blast. I know, that's a that's a apocalypse. But we did, in fact, run out of the Baja. So they get to the drive-thru and they start ordering. And they ask for Baja. <coughs> and I say, no, I'm sorry, sir, we're out of Baja. But we still have Mountain Dew and Pepsi products. Because Burrito Horn has Pepsi, not Coke. And I lost. And he's like, you know, all right, I'll get a Mountain Dew. And then he finishes his order, the next guy goes, and immediately the next guy goes, I'll have a Baja Blast. And I'm like, you know, I'm sorry, sir, we're out of Baja Blast, we just have Pepsi and other stuff. And then he finishes his order. The third guy, uh, midway through his order, he asks for a Baja Blast. And then some guy in the back seat screams, You dumbass! He already told you like three times, no Baja! And I kind of chortled a little bit, like I did the no snort, and we all just laughed for a bit, and then we kept ordering. It was for like three times in a row, they were asking for the drink we didn't have. Now Baja Blast is pretty popular, but there always seems to be this thing at our restaurant where... If we have plenty of it, it seems like nobody asks for it. But the second you're out of it, that's when everybody wants it. That's when they're asking for it. And also, this couple came in the drive-thru, and I took their order. And they went to pay for their food. And they were about $2 short. They had used up all their card balance. So I tell them, you know, your remaining balance is $2. In some sense. And they're looking around in their phone, in their purse. And they can't find any more money. So then our manager at the time, super generous. I don't know why I did this. But he ended up giving them the entire $30 meal for free. He's like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Have a nice day. 
However, and this was my fault, I messed up one of their drinks. We have these freezies, like slushies. And one of them, you can put creamer in. Well, I think I put the creamer in there, but I used the wrong flavor. And a couple minutes later, they came in the lobby. And they were complaining about, you know, the drink being wrong. Which is fine, you can do that. But the way they did it, like, they were really rude about it. Like, we just waited in this long drive through line, and you couldn't even get our drink right. Like, you just got $30 worth of free food. I don't mind them coming in about the drink, but them being rude is another story. And the manager's like, well, I learned my lesson. I'm not being nice ever again. Okay, I'm playing like absolute dog water here. Now, I have started looking up some walkthroughs, but for some reason, the walkthroughs on Peggle, they're pretty hit or miss. Like, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I feel like a lot of it comes down to luck. Alright. Now, there's like a certain angle you have to do, I don't know off the top of my head. Try this. I mean, that's a better shot than I would have come up with, so... Hats off to Master Who. Oh, I forgot I had the Zen Ball. I would have shot it somewhere better. That was on me. Had a total brain fart. I'm just gonna try to do purple pegs. And then Plunko, Plunko strategy. Space is a disgrace. We should have never left the Earth. We should have left this part of the world alone. Now we're getting these crappy shots. I'm gonna try to bounce it back upward on this purple. That did not work. That was also crappy. What the hell is going on? Alright. Keep in mind, we need 400,000, and we barely cracked 100. Alright, here's the deal. I'm gonna come back to this one. Let's just move on, because we don't want to see the same level 400,000 times. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so since this level is designed for the flippers, we're gonna use the flippers. All right, we got our flippers out, our little crab flippers. Junk. No. Where are you going? There we go. I'm a maniac, maniac. Yeah, keep it going. It's never going in the pit again. You're never going home again. You're not going home. You're not going home. You're gonna get more points. I'm trying to get it in the middle here. I did it once. I can do it again. Or, no, I can't. Eh, come on. Go in the middle. That's I go in the middle. Well, it can only last for so long. Coming down. Hot potato. Coming at you. 
Oh, that was a fail. See, already we're out of space. We have ten balls, and we're almost halfway there. It really is space. That's the... Okay, that was me. That's the problem. The second we got out of space... Now, I don't know if we're going to win, because these past few shots have been subpar. But look at the difference. It's night and day. I knew it. I knew it all along. Okay, my use of these flippers is not not good. Okay, let's 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 clutch up here. Okay, a lot of time there's nothing I can do about it. All right, we're flipperless. We are completely on our own here. Hmm. I can't guarantee I'm gonna hit the purple. I'm still gonna try to hit this pocket though. Well, hey, it was a free shot. All right, so if the purple's high. Hit it and hope it hits more pegs on the way down. Hmm. I'm gonna go for this one. See, now why couldn't it do that in the space level? Even the RNG seems to be a little better. See, look at this. I'm not gonna get too cocky. We're not, we're not gonna gloat here. Because we all know what happens. All right, we still got five balls. All right, we're, we're still good. All right, just, just keep banking it. We love to see it. Ugh, I kind of don't want to hit that yet. Alright, we got this in the bag. Now watch as I send this level to the morgue on the first try. The sea is mine. All right, let's go. Hmm. Spooky atmosphere, spooky ball. All right, I'm gonna trap it in this cow udder here. Why do all these ghosts in the background look like onions? All right, and then once again, we're trapping it in the udder. Or I guess it could be a horseshoe. Mm, I feel like it's going to bounce out. No, it did not. Hit the spooky ball. Aw. I'm going to clear out these top ones here. Bucket really came in clutch. That's the beauty of the bucket. It's not just for free balls. Sometimes you get lucky, and you can bounce it, and it'll hit more pegs. And sometimes you get that. I'm gonna try to get the spooky ball. Or I guess, you know, purple works too. I will gladly take the peg of purple. Don't be afraid. It's only my spooky ball. No need to fret. No need to shout. Wicked! I don't think I've ever heard him say wicked. That That's a new one. It's a great musical. I would recommend checking it out. It's like a prequel to Wizard of Oz. Okay, that shot was kind of crappy. But I think we got a free... I wasn't paying attention, but I heard the HBO sound effect. I heard, oh, so I think we got a free ball. So at Burrito Horn, the AGM and one of the other managers kind of got into a kerfuffle. 
So, one thing about this manager, she's been tardy a lot, and the tardiness is starting to add up, and the AGM was understandably, you know, upset about it, and recently, we kind of had a sad situation. This customer came in the lobby, he was on his bicycle, and he was, he wanted to end it if you know what I mean. So the AGM, now, at this point, the AGM was already clocked out, so she was not on duty. So her and another employee whose shift was also over, you know, they were talking to this guy, you know, asked him if he was okay, and they offered to give him a ride home. So they put him in the employee's car, and they drove, and they called, they FaceTimed the AGM, and they say, you know, hey, this guy, he's not in a good headspace, we're going to take him home, and then I'm going to come back and pick up my car and leave. Well, she doesn't end the call, she leaves the microphone on, and she starts talking smack about the other manager. Now, here's the deal, I'm just going to say something real quick. Do not talk about people behind their back, because that's very scummy. It's a very scummy thing to do. And it goes on for like 30 minutes, her, you know, bad-mouthing the manager. And also, just to clarify, we have regular managers, we have AGM, and then general manager, so... It was a regular manager and the AGM. And then, then eventually, she drops the bombshell... She's like, oh, hey. And I didn't see the call. I wasn't paying attention. But she, when she found out she left her mic on, she had this deer in the headlights look like, oh. And she's like, all right, here's the deal. I already heard everything. You don't got to apologize. Next time, just say it to my face. And then the AGM just hung up. But like, if you got a problem with, not just at work, but in general, if you've got a problem with people, it's always best to just, you know, talk about it in person, or at least at them and not behind their back. Like I said, it's scummy, don't do it. Alright, I got a little sidetracked with my story. We're not doing as well. Still better than space. Screw space. Screw all the stars. Screw all the planets. Screw Chris Pratt. Alright? Space sucks. Now, I understand, like, keeping satellites in space. I agree that we should be watching out for asteroids, solar flares, and enemy satellites from other countries. But why are we trying to go to other planets? Our home planet is literally screwed. The Amazon's dead. California's on fire. There's wicked inflation. Politics are going through the roof right now. It's crazy. Basically, we've got a lot of problems. And we're trying to look elsewhere. We need to start focusing on our planet here and trying to fix it, rather than, like, looking at the stars. Because I think we're not going to be living on other planets until much, 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 much later. And if we continue to destroy our planet, it's not going to, we're not going to make it that far. So we, we really need to shelve, you know, going to Mars and try to fix the Earth. No, oh, I missed the bucket. Alright, not, not a bad first turn. I will take it. Hey, we didn't win first try. Second try is not going to be bad. Alright, I'm going to make an incision right here. Alright, 
Easy. Don't want to bounce out. Now, the reason I trap it in the cow udder is because it'll hit more pegs if it's trapped. Alright. Still early in the game. A lot of pegs. It's time for Spooky Ball. So, very soon, our burrito horn is getting an audit. Now, I feel like almost every business has, like, an inspection team. Or every few months or a couple times a year, um, these inspectors will come. And they'll watch you while you work. Just to make sure that things are going good. And I think way back in the 80s, they used to be completely random. But now they at least give you a time frame. They're like, hey, we're coming sometime this week. Good luck. And it's funny because it's almost like a war game where the general managers will talk to each other. It's like, all right. They hit our store, and then they hit this store. I'm seeing a pattern here. Like, like, they get the core board out, and they start drawing a line. Okay, so they might go here next. There's a chance they may go to the north. Let's, let's get ready. Eh, we're, we're doing... All right, score-wise. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Especially when you make shots like that. See, free balls. That's what I'm talking about. Also, we have... They're called Cinnabon Delights at Burrito Horn. They're basically little donut holes that are coated with cinnamon. And... In the middle is some cream. And I can't help but chuckle every time when they order Cinnabons. Someone calls them the, like, crispy balls or the sweet balls. They call them, like, dessert, dessert spheres. Now, I admit, sometimes I have the humor of a 12-year-old, so whenever I hear that, I kind of chuckle a little. We lost again. Still sticking with Renfield. He's gotten us the closest so far. Ooh. Green green peg is in the cow udder. That is good for me. Now, I've only seen him a few times, and we haven't really talked. We've just kind of said hello. But our... I don't know if he's a district manager or an area coach. I asked my boss what he was. He says those two positions are about the same. But uh, my boss's boss comes in sometimes and just checks the place out. And every time something goes wrong, he goes, Oh, balls. Again, I thought it was funny. Okay, well this ain't funny. The, the shots are getting crappy. You know what? I'm not feeling good about this one. We're going to restart. My gut feeling, I just didn't feel good about that one. Alright, I'm going to change up the strategy. Alright, we're going to go... We're going to start this big circle. Alright, now... Can I hit the spooky ball? Do a double. Do a double. Aw, you could have done a double. No double Dutch for Matthew. Hmm. I'm going for it. I should not have went for it. That was bad. So close to the bucket. It always teases me. Now, 
want this darn spooky ball, but I can't be wasting all my shots to get it. Okay. A little bit of a respite there. Alright, it's exactly what I wanted to bounce it into the cow udder. Or I guess it's a horseshoe. Okay, I guess it looks more like a horseshoe. Now that's what I'm talking about. I really gotta try to watch the position of the bucket so I can bounce it in there. I was robbed. I want to replay. That should have gone in. That should have gone in the bucket. Two free balls. Now that's good. Alright, so I only need... I only need two shots to complete the level via red pegs. So we're just going to start hitting random pegs. Eh, could have gone better. Hole in one. So basically you just use Newton's third law. You shoot it in one corner, and it'll bounce off and it'll go to the other corner. I'm going to try not to hit this red peg because I want to build up as many points as possible with these last few balls. Purple's pretty inaccessible. I'm going to do this. Don't hit the red. Don't hit the red. No, no, no. You know what? That's fine. We got a huge bonus for doing a long shot. Is it going to be enough? No, not quite. Alright. Maybe Spooky's not the call. What else can we do here? Hmm. How about... I got an idea. We're going close. Well, we're certainly not, not off to a great start. Alright, if I can use these claws... Clear out some of these patches from underneath. Alright, we got the purple. It's always good. Eh, just short. Just out of my reach. Yeah. Okay, now this is looking a little more like it here. Now let's clear out this here. And these flippers really did not see much action. And there they go. And now we're back to just hidden pegs. Man, almost 30 minutes, and I have made very little progress. Oh, I thought it would bounce to the, to the right. But I did not play the angle correctly. Come on! Ah, oh, shucks. Heavens to Betsy. I would still rather play this one than the space one. To be completely honest. Alright. We're gonna try this one more time. And then we're closing the video. 
I think the the um the horseshoe strategy is, is good. Although I should have gone with the I should have gone with the right one because it had a Zen ball. All right, then we'll do this one. We'll try to clear it out evenly. And hit the purple on the way out. Alright, now where's the best place to start? Hmm. Holy crud, I was right. Really was one inch away from the Zen ball. I couldn't hit it. All right, clear out this blue peg. It's causing problems. He's problematic. All right, now we can access the Zen ball. All right, Master Who, I need your guidance once again. Thank you. I call you a Peggle Master for a reason. Eh. Alright, we just... We just gotta keep stalling. Just stalling. You think I'm stalling? Oh, come on. That was... That was horse poop. It always just misses the darn thing. And the... Like, three Peggle videos in a row, I have barely done anything. I will say, that is one thing that PopCap games kind of get... Uh, stigma for is they're easy. These levels, they really made them challenging. Well, at least, hey, at least we beat one level. That's some progress. We made steps forward. Well, that's gonna do it for today. So, as always, Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Really been struggling with the point challenges. So I'll probably make a really long video and then speed it up and then just record commentary over that. Remember, if you got a problem with somebody, say it to their face, not behind their back. Don't eat the yellow snow. And don't take candy from strangers. And everybody, do me a favor. Have yourselves a great day.